Hotel Paso Kings. We're gonna hang out at the Chattahoochee State Park. Engage. PassportKings.com. Welcome aboard. Abroad. Getting into great shape, I believe, is the only thing in life that can make a tremendous positive difference on your life and not cost any money. Some people prefer the gym because you get a lot more motivation when you're surrounded by people with the same goals in mind. I've also heard that the urge to utilize the money that you spent on your membership can also be a very good motivating factor to get you on a treadmill or the bench press. Whatever gets you moving, I suggest you use it. One of my main issues was the terrible cigarette habit that I picked up. They made me lazy and unproductive. People don't realize the psychological effect cigarettes have on helping you meet your goals either. Now that I've stopped smoking, I wake up in the morning with all kinds of ideas and solutions to challenges swimming around in my head. I now have to sleep with a pen and pad or my smartphone's memo pad close to my bed because when those ideas start flowing in the morning, I don't want to forget them by not writing them down. Before, the only thing I would wake up thinking is where did I leave my Newports and my lighter? Cigarettes were super hard to quit. I had been smoking them since I was about 15. I actually quit one time in my 20s for a whole six years. Unfortunately, when I was turning 28, I vacationed in Vegas and I was out there talking about what happens in Vegas stays out there. Well, I took that bad habit back home and was back on it off and on for another eight years. If y'all wanna know what I did to quit for good, I highly suggest Nicorette patches. So here's a link to pick them up from Amazon and they usually get them to you in one business day if you have a Prime membership. You will have a few nightmares when you sleep with them on, but when it comes to quitting, they work like a charm. I actually used to look forward to the nightmares like they were action-packed overnight movies to live through. I just hate it when the storylines were hit too close to home. Anyway, back to working out. There are some reasons why people don't use the gym. For me, the smell of the rubber floors always gave me a headache. Then, a lot of times it feels like the air in the gym is standing still, and it makes me a little claustrophobic. Some people don't like paying the hefty fees or the theatrics that people go through just to go to the gym, acting like it's a fashion show instead of a place where clanging and banging gets done. Lots of people have free weights at home and feel like that's enough, and with a little dedication, most times it is. Me? I'm an outdoorsy type of guy. Any chance to become one with the universe, I'm all for it. You may not be able to tell now, but at one time, I was in spectacular shape. Under the beer gut that I acquired from getting saucy, there's a six pack waiting to show his face again. I also cut down a lot of my activity after injuring my ankle and elbow in a fist fight when somebody tried to play me. Stop trying to play me, yo. I don't need to try to pack on pounds so I can gain muscle. I'm already the mass that I wanted to be. My goal now is to trim down about 40 pounds and get really, really ripped. Everything that I've read and was told about how to accomplish that goal always comes back to eating right. 70% of all people's results depend on sticking to the diet. Next month, I'll be starting a swimming class because I always wanted to be an excellent swimmer, which I'm currently not. Plus, I know that swimming is an excellent aerobic exercise. But as of right now, I'm going to focus on my diet and getting my walk on. I'll do a little bit of jogging and running, but a lot of studies show that it really doesn't make a difference how fast you run, and I also want to be cautious about re-injuring my ankle. Now for the size that I want to be, I must accomplish four things every day. Walk 12,000 steps, about six miles, sleep at least seven hours, unplug from all technology for an hour to reduce sitting, snacking, stressing, and sleeplessness, and eat three 400 calorie meals and two half meals that will each consist of lean protein, fiber, and a little healthy fat. I'm taking these recommendations from the guy who got Chris Pratt in shape for Guardians of the Galaxy, and he also works for Marvel getting all of the Avengers actors in shape before shoots. The dude name is Harley Pasternak. I thought it would be a lot harder than that, but that's what he said and he's obviously getting results out of all types of dudes in different shapes and ages. I was also told that the secret to getting the perfect body is patient. I guess it's the same thing like getting money. Be consistent, set big enough goals that they're worth sticking to, find outside motivation, and realize that it takes time to see the results of doing for yourself what others won't do for themselves. Right now, I'm not joining the gym because I have weights at home and as motivated as I am nowadays from not smoking, I know I can get my calisthenics and weight training done in about 45 minutes. 
Then take my dog for a long walk to give myself a head start on the 12,000 steps per day. Like I said in the previous video, getting into great shape is not only good for me, but it's good for Passport Kings the show. And it's good for the image of our people. I see a lot of dudes already handling this on my numerous social media timelines, and hopefully we can get our women to take it as serious as we've been. Everyone wants them to become the shape that they can potentially be. And quite frankly, it's a shame when the men of a community care more about their shape than the women do. Let's all be the best looking humans on this planet because we certainly have the potential. One last thing, one last thing, I know it's not fair that I've slacked off on making videos until I get myself into a shape I'm personally comfortable with, and believe me, that was not my plan. A lot of my viewers have been complaining, and rightfully so, about my sluggish updates. To you guys, please stay tuned. The travels abroad are coming back. I've upped my game tremendously when it comes to videography and technology, and I'm getting ready to compete for the long term very shortly. And like I always say, I'm not here to brag about how much I travel. There's no point in flaunting that. My goal since I started Passport Kings channel back in 2014 and Passport Kings LLC has always been and always will be to get you to travel more. I'm not the Passport King. My name is Rock Land. I'm just the host of this movement. The viewers and I together are the Passport King. Yes, women too. This is a group effort and you guys and gals are every bit as much travel royalty as I am. I'm not here to march out in front of you boasting about my adventures and telling you what you missed. I want us to travel alongside each other in real life. My friends and your friends united like kings. Passport kings. Peace. Great. Remember to leave comments below. Subscribe and like and share it with your social media. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to make money online or just book a trip, go to www.passportkings.com and pick up my free book while you're there.